This will be an unboxing of the Razer Phone 2. So I've had this box for a couple of days now. Finally got around to this video. So let's just get started. Take my blade and make an incision right here. I think that's good enough. Kind of rip the plastic off. Nice box here. Kind of soft-ish kind of finish. And let's see, you do have the Razer logo embossed on the box. As you can see, let the light hit it. Very nice. Razer on that part of the box. And some specs here. Nothing on this part of the box. Razer again here. Nice. Got this tab, which, okay, this flap opens this way. Letter from Razer. Nice touch, put that to the side. And front and center is the device. Look at that. Cool. Ooh. Take this plastic off. Take it off. Here's the phone. Very similar to last year's model, which I'll compare it to in a couple of minutes. Glass back now on this phone. Razer logo, the three snakes on the back. So let's turn this phone on right now. Powered by Android. We'll put this to the side and let's dive into the box, shall we? Ooh, it's like a little flap. It's like a book. You open this up and in here, what do we get? Your pamphlets and stuff in here. Love the black and green theme here. Even the artwork's pretty cool. Nice. And then back here, more information. And that's it, put that to the side. Stuff here, not gonna read all that. You have your Razer decal for gamers by gamers. So you can put this on your friend's iPhone XS Max. Put that to the side. Headphone adapter. USB Type-C to the, to the DAC right here. Unfortunately, the Razer Phone 2 does not have a headphone jack. And then this is your charging cable, if I can get it out. Now, this cable's not that long. I wish it was a little bit longer than this. Yeah, this is, this is not a very long cable at all, actually. Well, wow. All right, put that to the side. And this is your charging brick, fast charge. I'm pretty sure about that. There you go. And what else do we get in the box? I think that's pretty much it. Very nice, high quality foam kind of material here. Keep everything organized in the box. Close the box. And let's take a look at the phone itself. Notification here on the back, on the Razer logo. Very nice. I dig that quite a bit. English, United States, let's get started. And Razer agreement. Sure, click on next. Accept, decline this. Connect to, the, okay, skip the mobile network. Let's connect to Wi-Fi. Now I jack the brightness down so you can see. Do that in a little bit. Okay, the bat cave, that is me. Type in my password. Connecting, this may take a minute or two. Well, that was fast. It says there, update phone. Okay, I can't adjust the brightness yet. So hopefully you guys can see. Um, sure. System update downloading. All right, let it do its thing real quick. System update available. Battery too low to install the update. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna have to charge this up somehow. Okay, can you... I'm gonna decline the update for now. Update phone? Oh, I guess I have to update it. All right, well, I'm gonna have to charge this up. So give me a second. All right, so I had to plug the phone in, as you can see. System update installing. So I'm gonna let the phone do its thing for a few minutes. All right, so I let the phone do its thing. And that actually took quite a while. I was waiting for around 15 minutes or so, actually, just letting the phone do its thing. And so anyway, finally it's updated, as you can see. System update, Razer Phone 2 has successfully updated to the latest build. Press okay, get started, and let's try this again. Here's the agreement. Click next on this, accept, accept. Connect to mobile network, I don't have that right now. So I'm just gonna check for an update again. Set up as new, just a sec. And Google sign in, I'm gonna skip this for now. I just wanna get into the phone, skip. Okay, next on this. Unlock with fingerprint. So let's test out the fingerprint scanner right now. So I'll use my middle finger right here since it's on the side. See how fast this fingerprint is. Let's test out the fingerprint, let's go. Okay, quite a few taps. So just kind of doing it right now. Fingerprint added. Next. All right, wasn't too bad. Finishing touches, sign in. Okay, skip the sign in stuff for now. We are in. Super smooth, 
90 hertz display. I think this one can go up to 120. In person, this is super smooth. Yeah. This is probably the smoothest Android phone right now. We'll see how smooth the ROG phone is, the ROG phone. Wanna get that in-house in a couple of days. Up front, you have your two front firing speakers. On the back, the back is glass now. I believe this has wireless charging, I think. You have your dual camera setup. You have your Razer logo right there, which also doubles as your LED indicator, which you can adjust in settings. So you can go RGB back here if you want. Very nice. And here you have your SIM tray, your volume buttons, a nice clicky feel to it, very tactile. Fingerprint scanner and then your USB Type-C port. Unfortunately, no headphone jack down here. And on top of the phone, you have a mic. So compare this really fast to the first generation Razer Phone 1. Very similar as far as the look. Now the Razer Phone 2 does feel a little bit more refined. The edges are a little bit more rounded off, etc. Doesn't feel as sharp in your hand. And comparing that to the Razer Phone 1, yeah, a little bit more refined on this, on the second generation. But overall, very similar kind of feel. Camera modules have changed location now, but overall very similar in terms of the look. The thickness, take a look for yourself. Let me know what you want me to do with the Razer Phone 2, speed tests, etc. versus last year's Razer Phone 1, iPhone XS Max, Galaxy Note 9, OnePlus 6T, which I should have in a few days, and the ROG phone, which I should have in a couple of days as well. Now that's gonna be an interesting video. Razer Phone 2, got it in house. Thanks for watching, peace out. All right, let's test out the speaker real quick. All right, that's the song I play in the background of some of my speed test videos. And I gotta say, this speaker, this dual speaker setup, sounds really, really good. Probably the best I've heard on the phone this year. Yeah, if front-facing speakers are your thing, if media consumption is your thing and audio matters to you, consider this phone because that sounds really good.